Dr. Thomas here, president of the Love March Movement. The Love March Movement is a youth Christian organization for sexual purity and the family with goals of rebuilding and defending those two areas. In focus this week, Tomlinson and friends attack the church in Jamaica. Maurice Tomlinson, a known homosexual LGBT activist, has decided to attack the church in Jamaica with a conference called Intimate Convictions. It poses an, as an international church conference examining anti burglary laws in the region, but really, it's a prideful and evil attempt by the man who has challenged our nation's burglary law in court to weaken, divide, and confuse the church in Jamaica. The two-day conference will feature international speakers, many of them self-proclaimed homosexuals who also claim to be pastors, also mostly Anglicans from England, Canada, United States, and Africa. The program is in the form of seven panel discussions and a keynote address of the seven panel discussions. Um, two of them are solely focused on what the Anglican Church is doing to remove burglars across the world. Stick up in, wait there. Um, one of the sponsors, Anglicans for Decriminalization, they're listed as a sponsor and is a group of Anglicans from across the global Anglican community which supports the repeal of, of the burglar laws. But guess what? The coordinator is none other than Maurice Tomlinson. He has been contacting Anglican bishops and clergy and requesting that they support the petition, calling on governments to repeal their burglar laws and meeting with also leaders of the global Anglican community to ask them to publicly and at every available opportunity support decriminalization. This tone and this conference follow the script laid out in the book Overhauling Straight America. Under their key strategy, talk about gays and gayness as often and as loudly as possible, they have said this. When conservative churches condemn gays, there are only two things we can do to confound the homophobia of true believers. First, we can use talk to muddy the moral waters. This means publicizing support for gays by more moderate churches, raising theological objections of our own about conservative interpretations of biblical teachings, and exposing hatred and inconsistency. Second, we can undermine the moral authority of homophobic churches by portraying them as antiquated, backward, badly out of step with the times and with the latest findings of psychology. I hope you understand what is going on here. There's a strategic agenda to corrupt the voice, the message, and the unity of the church in Jamaica happening right now. The conference starts tomorrow at the University of the West Indies. This is a concerted effort to pervert the bride of Christ and promote false teachings that homosexuality is part of God's plan for society. The Bible is clear, clear. That is foolishness. And we stand on the word of God and we ask believers to oppose this philosophy of evil and sexual immorality which Revelation describes in the letter to the church in Thyatira that it is the spirit of Jezebel, the intimidatory spirit, the spirit which promotes sexual immorality in the church which is at work. Paul in his letter to Timothy charged him to oppose false teachers. 1 Timothy 1 verse 9 says, we also know that the law is made not for the righteous but for lawbreakers and rebels, the ungodly, the sinful, the unholy and irreligious for those who kill their mothers and fathers for murderers for the sexually immoral for those practicing homosexuality for slave traders and liars and perjurers and for whatever else is contrary to sound doctrine first corinthians 6 verses 9 to 11 say do not be deceived do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And that is what some of you were. But you are washed, you are sanctified, you are justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. The scripture clearly, clearly shows that homosexuality is not in keeping with the word of God. It is not. It is a sin. How can the church be promoting sin? What the scripture is saying is that Jesus delivered people from the very first church from homosexuality. And that should be the message, a message of repentance, a message of love to those who are fallen prey to same-sex attractions. Not a message of that evil that is destroying you is okay and part of God's plan. 
This is an attack on the church. I feel it to my heart. An attempt to pervert the bride of Christ. And as a people of God, we need to stand and pray to break every plan of the enemy down. This is what I would like us to pray for as we fast. Prayer point one. Pray that effect of this conference on the voice of the church against homosexuality and sexual immorality in general would be unaffected by this evil attempt at confusion and disunity. Prayer point two. Pray that believers would rise up to defend the bride of Christ from this perversion of the truth of the word of God. And two people I want us to pray for. Pray for Maurice Tomlinson, the source of this evil conference, and Sean Major Campbell, the host of this conference, that they would repent and turn to Jesus Christ. That they would speak truth and that the Lord would intervene as they promote evil and the perversion of the church in Jamaica. Bless.